uh, this is lecture 7 so uh, we have seen uh, previously in the previous uh, lecture 6 on the harmonically excited vibration of single degree of freedom systems uh, undamped force vibration so uh, in this lecture 7 we are still in chapter 3 uh, so in lecture 7 we take a look at the damped force vibration so basically if you uh, an overview of what we have covered uh, as i said in chapter 2 we have take a look at uh, free vibration so basically that means uh, you have an undamped system and then you take a look at them system okay there is no input uh, to the system okay your output is still xt so in chapter 3 okay in lecture 6 you have take a look at um, the force vibration harmonically excited force vibration undamped okay and now we take a look at this lecture is basically about force vibration okay harmonically excited with damping that's why it's called damp all right you still have the response in terms of xt it's the same so make sure you know the difference between all this system all right um, and also we have defined in chapter 3 when we say harmonically excited it's basically means that your ft is equals to either a sine function or a cosine function because that shows that the input to the system is repeatedly in the same pattern that's why it says sine or a cosine function as harmonically excited vibration so let us take a look at uh, this uh, lecture basically we are looking at uh, these learning objectives uh, it's quite similar to a previous lecture we all we still talk about homogeneous transient and a particular or steady state solutions as i mentioned in the previous uh, lecture uh, most probably a lot of times we are uh, particularly interested in the steady state uh, solutions then uh, we since now we have damping so we will emphasize on the role of damping in force vibration in this lecture as well as uh, the quality factor we want to see what is the quality factor when it actually uh, relates with damping and a parameter called damping ratio which you also have looked at in previous uh, chapter two so let us take a look at this system so now uh, in a previous lecture perhaps your c is equal to zero Okay, in lecture 6, your C is equal to 0, but now your C uh, is not equal to 0 because it's a, a damped vibration. Okay, so let's say this is our uh, model. Alright, so if you remember, how do we come up with this equation? Basically, if I want to show you again on uh, how do we draw a free body diagram of this system. So, uh, as I mentioned uh, previously, the first step is you have to draw the actual force on the spring and the damper first. Do not uh, draw the forces on the mass. So, if you are based on your assumed direction, so you know that X is uh, going to the right. So, first of all, you draw K to the right, same direction as your assumed direction. Similarly, your damping, okay, then your damper basically, then you draw, then only the second steps, you draw action reaction on the 
mass so uh, and you also have an input ft so ft you just add them up okay uh, so you would have your action reaction here okay so basically your uh, forces from from the k so because uh, you do have your displacement in this direction okay um, so the force here is basically kx and this one is cx dot so when you want to write your equation of motion basically you would need to uh, look at based on the mass itself that is why we call it free body diagram because you are free uh, you free the mass from the actual forces basically yeah so that's why it's called free body diagram so once you uh, have all the action reactions forces then you can write your eom based on the mass itself so if you do that then uh, you can see that how do you uh, determine the positive direction is based on the assumed direction x so you have to always write mx double dot because this is a linear system equals to summation of forces and you determine the positive is this direction okay because you are looking at the x yeah same same as the assumed direction in the question so in this case your kx and cx dot is negative so you straight ahead because it's opposite so you have cx dot plus kx so you can rearrange the terms um, you also have ft eh? don't forget now you have the ft so ft is positive is the same direction so if you rearrange that so that is how you get this equation this is the simplest form if you do not know how to draw your free body diagram using this simple model then you probably going to have a problem later on okay so that is how you get your equation of motion for this uh, first uh, damped single degree of freedom system